Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the surface of Mars. And today I'm going to be continuing to look at a lot of the amazing tile submissions that I got, some of which will be making it into the final product, some of which I just simply don't have room for, but I wanted to at least show them off in this episode here. Now, yesterday we did look at a lot of these, but I did save some particularly for this episode, especially that very large one over there. That's a really awesome tile as well that I can't wait to dive into. And these domes, I'm going to need your feedback on because I'm torn between these two domes. Homes, so I want to ask you your opinions on them it's probably gonna be mixed because I mean it's mixed in my head right now too But let's go ahead and get back into it Hopefully I can remember which ones I've seen and which ones I haven't now this one I don't think I actually addressed this one. This is actually a pretty cool one It's a relatively flat tile here and it actually has a mock um, Little like Mars Rover made out of like rocks and terrain assets and stuff So this thing would just live here pretty much permanently and I think this is the one that was already on Mars in the first place Anyway, so at least we get that realism aspect by the way. I had a lot of people in the comments I found it kind of amusing a lot of people were very annoyed at some of the inaccuracies Like apparently Mars isn't actually supposed to be volcanically active So like the lava tiles and the oil stuff doesn't make sense um, And apparently there's not supposed to be liquid water on Mars because it's absolutely freezing so any water would be iced over but um i have some news i've been i've been hiding something from you guys you may notice that even my character has completely exposed skin and i'm breathing the mars atmosphere right now and you may be wondering how this is even possible but um turns out this isn't actually the real mars I know I did a pretty good job at trying to keep that under wraps, but some of you guys were just too good and uh, you, you found me out. You caught on to those subtle little hints that I looked over and uh, yep, I just got to admit it right now, this isn't actually Mars. This is a fictional version of Mars that we can kind of do what we will. But as far as like, you know, the volcanic activity thing, um, I mean, if there are volcanoes on Mars or like the leftovers of volcanoes, to me that indicates that at least there was some volcanic activity at some point. So this doesn't need to be the current 100% accurate modern day version of Mars. This is just our version of Mars and we can make it whatever we want to in order to make it fun and interesting to play with. Jokes aside, let's get back to the tiles. Uh, let's, let's take a look at these domes. We got two domes here and let me go to this white one first because this is the one that I saw first. So I do want to keep one of these domes, but only one of them because they're both essentially serving the same purpose, but they're just built. They're just built different. Literally, they're built different. So this one, I think it looks really, really nice. It looks very natural. The terrain in here is really well done. It just it kind of looks like just natural bumpy terrain. We've got grass growing. We've got some normal looking rocks. We've got some normal looking trees, a place that we can actually harvest wood. So there would be a reason to build logging vehicles on the Mars surface because we'd have our own arboretum, basically. And um, even though it has a big exposed doorway right here, this actually would work great for a giant airlock. We could have a giant door on this side built specifically to these specifications and a giant door on this side. And then of course we can open one door, close it, have some type of airlock sequence, open the other door and so on. But pay attention to the layout of this because the other dome is similar but different all right so up next we've got this one oh excuse me we got this one over here obvious difference that one's white this one's black but the inside is also built different so check this out you may notice that this one oh this is actually th I, when i first looked at this i didn't have the um the foliage enabled so this is actually different than i thought it was I'll show you what it looks like without the foliage because that actually is something that changes this a little bit. You can see it's a lot more flat, which I think could have some benefits because it feels more like an actual human made arboretum where we have some designated areas. We got some pathways to walk around and stuff. Um, and we got these wheat areas, which I guess these are for, but I also thought, check it out. If I turn off fo foliage density, these are kind of, they turn into just open spaces where we could be like, uh, place tree. We could actually have our own repeatedly harvestable tree areas here. Where we can come in, harvest some stuff, and then at any time I could just place them back and pretend like they grew back, they grew back here. Wait, is place spruce not one of them? Oh, there we go. Wasn't enough room. So I like that there are some pre-made sections with some like trees and bushes, but I like that these can kind of act as uh, fillable designated areas that we can put whatever trees we want and whatever layout we want. And the terrain 
the flatness of the terrain makes it easier to operate a mining vehicle. Now, in my opinion, the reason why I'm torn between these two is I actually like the aesthetics of the other one better. It looks more like just flat out nature inside of a dome. This one feels more scientific and artificial and also potentially easier to navigate with a mining or a logging vehicle. So I'm kind of torn between those two cost benefits. So let me know if you guys have any preferences down in the comments below and let's move on to the next tile. All right, so I don't want to skip over this one. This one is a pretty massive and really interesting looking rock formation here. I like it a lot and I believe, is it this side? Did I just, did I just miss it? I think there's a cave. Oh yeah, here we go. You can't, it's not even that visible from like the outside. Everything blends so well and I like that about it. That means it's not super obvious, but check it out. We got cave in here and we got some oil in the cave and then it kind of goes into just some weirdness. Like it's kind of mysterious. You don't really know what these things are. It kind of looks like a solid meteor rock thing may have landed here and there's some signs of intelligent life with this thing like there's like th these things are maybe here to start harvesting the materials of this stuff but it is definitely something that adds some mystery and it is uh it's a lot more subtle which is what i kind of prefer for the mysterious stuff and oh i just realized we got a whole bunch of harvestable harvestables in here as well so yeah i like the oh i didn't even notice that either Got some, got all kinds of little hidden secrets. There's probably even more that I haven't even found yet. That's kind of part of the reason why I'm going through these things quickly. Because I think it's cool if I do end up missing some things and then I happen to find them for the first time during like the middle of the series. And I don't know if I looked at this tile, like the cave part of this tile. Oh, well, this is interesting. So there's just outright nature in here. So this one's also pretty cool. It's like a massive meteor crater. This is probably one of my favorite crater craters. First of all, look at the, the crater shape itself is really cool. It's really well done. It's got a lot of irregularities with it, which makes it feel more natural. Um, and it's got this giant asteroid impact. And there are these also more mystery stuff. There appears to be some antennae coming out of it. So not super obvious, but definitely noticeable. And oh. I didn't actually look too hard at this last time. It looks like, oh, I did not see this last time. This is my first time seeing this. There appears to be like a pillar and a circle thing going on here as well. So yeah, it definitely gives us an excuse to explore here with some type of mining vehicle to try to break through there as well. All right, and then we got these two tiles over here. We got this one and this one, uh, which I thought are really cool and definitely worth showing off. But I don't plan on putting these into the final Mars tile, uh, mostly because... Oh, there, wait, does this actually go? I didn't actually go inside this thing. Oh, this is confusing. The walls blend together so much. What? Um, but my main reason for not including them in the final build is because they're very obvious from very far away. And this is extremely confusing. These walls don't have edges. Look. Like I can't, I cannot see an edge to this wall. Oh, there it is. Uh, where am I going right now? This is like, it's literally like a, this is like an apartment building. Yeah, so I thought these might be a little bit too, too immersion breaking when we're trying to look off in the distance and you just see an all out like apartment complex on Mars all of a sudden. And we got a uh, cliffside mini mansion right there. I mean, if it's a mini mansion, doesn't that just make it a house? Yeah, I live in a mini mansion. It's like a mansion, but smaller. No, it's not a house. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so let me get this tile. It also makes use of that cool fog effect. So this has a really cool... This would be... This would be a great tile for just normal survival mode, to be honest. This looks really, really nice. It's really well built. And it looks like we even got some, like, water or... Is that oil? I don't know. I don't want to fall down and find out because I don't feel like getting out of there. Um, but I think... Oh, yeah, there's even a tunnel going underneath. Look at this. Isn't this cool? We even got one of these keep out out of order doors for the elevator. Got some stuff here and it looks like, it's, is this just water? Um, I think this is oil actually. This doesn't feel like water. This might actually be oil. Kind of a weird concept not being able to tell the difference between oil and water as you're swimming in it. But yeah, a lot of cool details in this one and like what? I don't even, I've never seen these assets before. What is this? Are these even in survival? This kind of reminds me of the logbook for some reason. Like looking at it from the side, like it just, it looks like a logbook to me. <laughs> Wait, are those physical objects? Where did they come from? I just noticed these for the first time. What? Are those a tile? I don't know what tile the... I genuinely don't know where those are coming from. Who did that? I'm gonna have to go fly up there and find out what that's all about. I literally just noticed those for the first time. 
I saw somebody mention them in the last episode, but I didn't know they were referring to something in the actual video. Um, so we got this as well. This is kind of like another quarry type thing with a big diamond looking rock in the middle. Big rock. All right, hold on. I got to fly up to these moons and see what this is all about. This is very strange. There's two. Why are there? Did I put two of these tiles in here or something? It's weird that there's two of them. They don't seem to be... I've really got to figure out where they came from. Because it is kind of cool to have them both. All right, there's only one way to figure this out. I got to get on top of it, and I got to fall straight down from it. There's no way. Like, these have to be separate tiles, because... This... Whoa, boy, I'm falling through. Oh, my goodness, what happened to me? Because, yeah, this and that one, they are over... Com they go over completely different tiles. All right, let's see what happens when I fall straight down. This is a mystery to me right now. Where am I going to land? Okay, here I am. I have landed kind of right in between some tiles, but it's in this direction. So I've landed on a tile that has a single rock on it. And it's nice because it looks like this is a very small tile and it is kind of exactly what I'm looking for. It's nondescript. Now let's see if over underneath this other moon, I have this tile with a single rock on it. All right, hold on. We'll address some of these other tiles down here uh, in a little bit though. I have a bunch of single tiles here. Oh, <gasps> this is it right here. I have accidentally put two moons which is kind of awesome. Yeah, if I look straight up from this tile, it must be it. Yep. Wow. That was an accident. I just confirmed because I suspected Mars does actually have two moons. So I literally just by chance accidentally put two moons in here. When I put those tiles down, I didn't even know that there were moons. Like these didn't show up to me in the tile builder. So I had no idea. So I'm definitely gonna put them farther apart um, because I mean, they're single tiles. They're gonna be really easy to just place anywhere. So that was kind of a really happy accident. Um, so obviously some of these tiles, unfortunately did have edges that didn't mesh very well with the tiles around them. Um, I will be taking that into consideration when choosing final tiles, but we got a bunch of small tiles here that you can see down below Some of these I already went over uh, this one. There's two caves right here. There's some interesting ones right over here So this one is a small cave. I like this cave actually. It's very subtle. It's just mysterious rocks What's this green stuff coming out of these rocks? I don't know. I guess we'll have to uh, get some research vehicles over here that can fit inside that cave. That's actually, a, that's a small little cave. We're gonna have to have a tiny little research vehicle. And then we got this cave over here. This one's more of like a build it yourself. Figure out what you want to do in it. Just blank slate, which I kind of like the blank slates as well. Another small tile, so it just takes up one little block. We got this crater tile with like a chrome uh, asteroid that landed down there. Another asteroid impact over here. And this one, I like this one too. This is obviously a movie reference right here. Giant monolith just sitting here. I think this would be a great tile to just have in kind of like the midpoint between the human base and where the aliens are. This is like one of the first things you'll discover that is like the hint of alien life. And then as you travel further and further past this, Stuff gets a little bit weirder and a little bit more creepy. We got we got some more strange pillars here that look oddly intentionally placed, which I think could be another, you know, subtle hint to intelligent life being on Mars. All right, now, so you probably saw this other dome over here. So now this one is very different. This is very different from the previous two domes, which is why I'm not like, I didn't look at them all together because this one kind of stands on its own. This one has a crazy amount of stuff going on under here. So just walking down through this tube, like it goes, it goes down very, very much. <laughs> like, just look at this. We got these weird colored crystals in the walls here. I'm just going to jump down. Whee! We even have this, oh, another one of these uh, strange gray buildings. We have a strange test tube with a, a weird dwarf model thing inside of it. Yeah, a lot of craziness going down here. I definitely wanted to show you guys, but as far as like the final thing, I think it's a little bit too much. It went a little bit overboard in relation to the subtlety that I'm going for. And I'm too lazy to walk all the way back up. So I'm going to do the whole, I'm going to start playing the game wrong here for a second. All right, lift me up. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> I trapped myself inside. There's no way inside this dome or outside of this dome. I trapped myself. Let me out. I'm in a glass case of emotion. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this actually leads to the other one over here. But can I get out? Oh, I can. I can get in and out right kind of. It doesn't look like it was meant for this, but I can at least do this and I'm out. Okay. 
Oh, I can die. Oh, I can get in through the top. I didn't know it was open up there. So there is another way in there. Wait, now I'm stuck, I guess. All right, another awesome track here. There's kind of like this off-road, almost like rally track. I think this would be just, this is just awesome. This is just a place that, you know, hey, we've been around here a bunch. We've created our own tracks and stuff. And it looks like a great place to test vehicles out. So I'm definitely going to be keeping that one in the final one. Really well done. Looks great too. All right, and then I've been saving this one for last. Uh, this is another crazy extra large tile. So you may notice there's actually a huge ramp. I haven't actually used this ramp yet. How's it looking? Are any of these rocks, rocks obstructing? Nope, you can just go straight off of this thing. Look at that, try not to hit those rocks on the way down. All right, but anyway, if you make your way all the way up to the top, I believe there is a pathway to the top from the bottom as well. Check this out. So there is some stuff here that I didn't know existed for the tile editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into the heart of the volcano here. Back in Vulcanoids, apparently. <laughs> so look at this. This is actually like, this, this has depth, ready? Look at that, I'm, I'm just in the lava right now. Spoiler alert, it's not real lava. That's why I'm not getting hurt. That's why I can survive right now. And of course it goes further down and look at this. There's actually like falling lava. This isn't, I, I didn't know what this was. I still don't know what it is to be honest, but it doesn't have collisions, so you can kind of go through it, which is nice. Looks like we got some plant life in here and some tunnels. This would be a place that we could build something. I mean, do we really want to build inside of a volcano? I mean, if we're if we're, you know, space travelers to Mars, I feel like if you can survive on Mars, you can survive in a volcano where we've we've figured out the whole extreme weather situation. We know how to deal with it. And I mean, look at, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know that there was a ground entrance. I just found that for the first time too. I don't think I went this way last time. So look at, we have legit lava pools with actual depth and everything. I thought that was gonna be a solid surface. So where are we coming out of? Look at that, that looks so cool. All right, and it looks like the pathway up the volcano is on the opposite side from the pathway into the volcano from the ground. So let me go up here. I just wanna try this jump real quick. I just wanna get some big air for the end of this video. Oh, look at this. There's a nice little level area. We could definitely build like a volcanic base over here, like an external volcanic uh, research center or something. All right, so continuing on up to the top and this should lead me onto the jump. Oh yeah, here we go. You guys ready? Oh, this is way steeper than I thought it was. This is like a vert ramp drop in right now. All right, well, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh no, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is good. Yeah. I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to clear those rocks, but we went all the way down. Check that out. All right, well, once again, I gotta thank everybody for participating. If you wanna build your own Mars world and scrap mechanic, um, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description. A member of my Discord by the name of Uncompetent has actually put together a collection of nearly every tile that people have submitted, and it's close to 300 at this point. I don't know if it includes some of the latest ones, but it's probably the most comprehensive list available right now if you wanna just view all of the tiles stuff that didn't make it into this video and everything that is here that you may want to play with yourself so i'll leave a link to that down in the description thanks again for everybody who contributed i definitely got my work cut out for me trying to choose and place the necessary tiles to make a nice and immer immersive mars map so leave some feedback down below if you have any advice or suggestions on how to go about doing that Anyway, if you missed the previous video where I went over some of the other amazing tiles like the giant Olympus Mons over there and some of the some other crazy stuff, you can go and check out that on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.